Let me show you how you can do this experiment where you can get blue power aid to turn to green and maybe even a yellow color and then back to blue again. The trick to the experiment is prior to doing it, you're going to want to pour into one of the flasks, 5 to 10 milliliters of 50% by mass sodium hydroxide solution. That's all there is to it. Then when you get ready to do the experiment, you open up a power aid and pour it into the flask that has the sodium hydroxide solution in it. And you might immediately notice a color change that shifts from more blue to greenish and that'll continue to fade to maybe even a yellow color. Now the reason for this color change is because there is blue dye in the Powerade in the presence of the sodium hydroxide base that reacts with the glucose in the Powerade. The glucose reduces the blue form of the dye to a colorless form of the dye. You get a little bit of yellow color because the glucose gets converted into a yellow product. Now if you notice right here at the top you may be able to see a faint blue color and that faint blue color is a clue as to how we regenerate the blue color, the blue form of the dye. You see, when I take this bottle and I pour it into this one over here, oxygen from the atmosphere gets mixed into the solution. And the oxygen oxidizes the colorless form of the blue dye back to the blue form of the blue dye. And that's why you get the flash of blue. I can get that too just by shaking the mixture. By shaking the mixture, I get some oxygen from the atmosphere to go into the solution and that converts any colorless form of the dye that forms back to the blue form. And if you let it set, the glucose reduces the blue form of the dye back to the colorless form, generating our yellow color. You can use sugar-free Powerade to demonstrate the role that the sugar plays in this experiment. It's real simple. First, I'll just pour 5 to 10 mils of 50% sodium hydroxide solution into each flask. Then of course into this flask I'll pour the sugared Powerade. And into the other flask I'll pour the sugar-free Powerade. Of course in the presence of sugar the blue dye gets reduced to the colorless form and the glucose gets converted to yellow product and that's why we see the shift to yellow color here and up here at the top sure enough once again we can see oxygen from the atmosphere at least the effect of oxygen from the atmosphere reacting with the reduced colorless form of the dye generating the blue product in the sugar free Powerade there's no sugar around so the blue dye cannot get reduced to the colorless product giving this a shake we introduce oxygen into the mixture and that's going to oxidize the colorless form of the blue dye back to the blue form and we get a green color because the yellow product of glucose and the blue dye makes a green color.